Hi guys, Milan here. I want to talk about differences between uh, combat sport and self-defense. First, it's a couple of differences. I will not mention all of them. Just a couple more. I think uh, most important what you're supposed to know. First is when you do combat sport, you're looking for fights. That's most significant uh, difference. You're looking for fights, you're looking for competitions, matches. Doesn't matter if you do amateur or professional fighting, boxing, MMA, kickboxing, uh, judo, sambo, wrestling, doesn't matter what. So, when you do self defense, you, your aim is to avoid conflict. Okay? You avoiding conflict. You avoiding fighting. When you do combat sport, you're looking for fighting. Because you obviously you are athlete, you testing your skills. That's first huge difference. Second, when you do your uh, combat sport, you have to know rules. Rules of your chosen discipline. Okay? If you do judo, you know you cannot kick or punch. If you do boxing, you know you cannot wrestle or kick. Alright? So, you are very specified. Speci your training is very specific according to your chosen, according to your chosen uh, discipline. When you do self-defense, you have to study law, your rights, and know what you can and cannot do. As well, you have to know how to behave when if police arrive. Okay? That's a huge difference. People saying in self-defense there are no rules. There are rules. Rules made by nature and also rules specified by law that's what i mentioned that's what you have to do now next difference in most of combat sports rules you are oh my god In most of uh, combat sport, you have rules made by man, and that's it. Usually, if is everything fair, organization, any sport organization, keep eye on that. You meet opponent a similar level of you, same weight categories, all right, same similar skill set. So you have to grow, you growing, you go like a beginners, let's say in boxing you have some classes, in martial arts based combat sports you are divided according to let's say belt ranks, let's say in judo or in, in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or Sambo, in, uh, in kickboxing you have some classes usually. So it cannot happen. You you fight against stronger opponent than you. It's more or less equal. Okay. As I said, it is a really proper good organization. It's up to them. So you want to do combat sport? Really choose wisely. Under which banner you you, you decide to compete? Because can be dangerous as well. You imagine some beginner boxer will go again Olympian. You know? Now, in a self-defense situation, you train differently. It's always it's predator versus prey, and predator choosing big one. Okay, he's not gonna to test him or herself. He very carefully choose his or her big team and attack he's not gonna test himself predator okay it's like a wolf he choose that one 
which is easier to put down okay that's it so and the preparation for self-defense have to be accordingly all right self-defense is more about intelligence all these moves are designed to protect yourself against stronger opponent and as well when it's unexpected that's lead me to another difference you go to compete you are prepared to fighting you preparing for fighting you know your schedules your competition to some kind of date go for competition or to fight you maybe study if you know your opponent if his competition if his tournament is different but you know what to expect you prepare yourself mentally physically when you go to the competition in D-Day, you have time for warm-up, mental preparation again, it's team with you, you have backup, everything is really set up. Alright? In self-defense, it's different. You are attacked when you expect least. You are attacked by stronger, but as well, in not you are not prepared everything have to be instinctive in this case okay and when you learn self-defense actually you have to be you have to be uh, like a zen kind of mind you have to be uh, aware not always I'm not saying you have to crawl around the street like a ninja just in, uh, more, more open to the world. Today we are we are stuck on the, our mobile phones. What is wrong? All right, it's wrong. We miss so much beauty, but also we miss dangerous signs that can save your life. Look what's happened now in Reading. You know, four people stabbed, three died. Uh, now everybody talking about mindfulness and meditation when i'm thinking now about that how you can meditate when you your mind is full mindfulness is that's man your mind is overloaded with bullshit meditation is actually empty your mind reset your mind put everything in order mindfulness don't be mindful and self-concerned empty your mind be relaxed be like a mirror you have to react if your mind is full of some shit you cannot react what's happening in real life and that particular moment okay so enjoy your life be in the present and listen your emotions emotions are good messenger but very bad advice so this is something similar if he's good coach in combat sport as well, he prepared them mentally. So have he he teach his students to tame his emotions because these emotions are the same in self defense as in the combat sport because your conscious subconsciousness doesn't recognize reality from fiction. That's why you are afraid when you're watching horror. All right. The subconscious doesn't recognize reality from fiction. Fine. What else? There is many differences. Yeah. Especially in professional sports. They hyping, they, they fight, but also they try to go under the skin of the opponents. All right? The trash talk and so on. Okay, in self-defense, when you got attacked, you don't want to provoke that guy. As I mentioned before, you want to avoid the conflict. Defuse, alright? Not to provoke. And also there is the surprise element. I will explain you this way. When so someone push you in the street, and you push back, you don't know this guy. If you realize you want to fight, he try always to get some kind of advantage over you. 
So he push you, you push back, and he take knife. Oh, the situation become more serious and more deadly for you. But if you, you push, he push you, and you start apologizing, you really play your game. You relax, maybe you defuse. I'm not sure. Uh, but there you have the element of surprise. He, he don't see any threat, he come to you. If he has Vuitton, he is not taking up. His highest possibility he will not take. He can, but still he will be too confident and that will play against him. And suddenly you have to take first opportunity to, to survive, to defend yourself. That leads me to another difference. In sport you have winners, in a self-defense situation you don't have a winners, all right? You're testing yourself in kind of fair situation in combat sport, you win trophy, you're testing yourself, right? You win, get trophy, and you know you did well, and you try to repeat, and if you are a great athlete, you're still improving even if you win. If you lose, you some kind of analyze what went wrong and improve yourself and not repeat that mistake. In the self-defense situation, you are not winner. Let's say somebody push you, you push back. Or somebody attack you, you somehow push. Innocent move, this guy fell down, hit his head over the pavement in such a bad way, he died. But that was in self-defense situation, right? But he died. And he want to go around and saying you won? No, you survived. And there is another problem. Next day you can learn in the news or read in the newspaper he was father of three. How to deal with this? You are not winner, you are survivor. You are not gonna to kill that guy. Okay? That's big difference. Now, if you do mistake, what you will learn? Maybe never happen this anymore because you will end up uh, in cemetery. Right, that is few differences. There are tactical and technical differences as well. Myself, I love self-defense. I love to teach people self-defense and help them in bad situation. And I hope they will never ever end up in such situation and if, if they will it's my job their survival rate grow, grow okay be higher than ordinary people okay and intelligence uh, self-defense is about intelligence period fine uh, regards to defusing uh, conflict you can verbally but most importantly, you have to have by your behavior, your body language have to be absolutely clear signal, I'm not the prey. Or I met many people and that's actually pissed me off uh, who's saying, Milan, uh, I can talk and nobody will attack me. What do you have in the holiday in Spain and these guys uh, doesn't speak English or your language? Or even that can be in your native country and be attacked by foreigners. That's happening often. All right? Uh, I will publish more videos in regards to knife fighting as well. Because this is very important. Look, just now, I mentioned that already. Attack in the park here in Reading. Three people dead. Four stopped, three people died. How come this happened? Will be... These people could have saved life. That's for sure. Maybe they will be stabbed. Maybe they will be cut. But there will be no three deaths. That's for sure. I'm 100% sure. So don't be ignorant and learn self-defense. To protect yourself or your loved one. Where was other people? Just in shock? And filming all this event on the mobile phone? What they did? 
believe oh, it's better to run away from knife. No way you can run away from knife. He came to you and suddenly stabbed you until you turn, turn away and start running or already stabbed 10 times. This stupid, 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 extremely stupid advice. It's deadly. Okay? Yes, you can learn how to defend yourself against knife. I'm 100% sure you can learn. You can learn what to do, what to expect, how to behave, how to stand, and what to do. If somebody tell me, even you, yeah, Milan, huh? you are too brave or you are too this and that, you know, you're talking bullshit. Somebody stab you, I will they take knife, you cannot do nothing. You can. In ancient times, or just, let's say, 150 years ago, people was fencing. They have long, long knives. Called sword, court, okay, rapier. And some of the most great duelists, they survive all these duels. How come? Is everything here? But don't be mindful. Stop practicing mindfulness. You don't know what you are talking about. You already all, we already have all mind full of information, but no wisdom, no vice. Okay, guys. So that was my small input here on the social media. I share with you few differences between combat sport and self-defense and something extra. Take care, guys.